I'm trying to sign. Bep, 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 bep. Definitely didn't do that right. But anyway, I am back. I am here with you again. We are reunited. It's amazing. I've missed you. It's been uh, a couple of weeks and I'm back in the kitchen. And today we're cooking something especially festive because tis the season of holidays. Tis a season always. It's always a season, but the season that it tis right now is the holiday season because Thanksgiving is upon us and then it's Hanukkah and Christmas and it's just festivities everywhere. It's just, it's the best. It's the greatest time of year. Unless you like a different time of year, then that's the greatest time of year. But you know, I'm trying to make a video. So it's the greatest time of year. I really quickly want to say thank you to everyone who watched my last video, which was not a cooking video. I did not make a recipe and do it poorly and loudly. I made a little short documentary about my experience um, in trying out competitive jujitsu, and it was really, really awesome. And uh, more than that was the response that you guys gave me for that video. So I just want to say thank you so much uh, to anyone who watched. But I am back here to just be a degenerate with food once again. And you know what I have thought, what I should come back with in terms of a recipe so long. And I was like, I don't know, what, what could we do? Well, you know, do more chips, should we do a dessert? And then I was like, tis the season. Remember, we're gonna make latkes. We're gonna make potato pancakes, a Jewish food traditionally served uh, during Hanukkah. This is a food that I grew up eating. I'm a Jewish boy, okay, so I know I know the challah bread and I know the, the latkes. I had it growing up. So today we are gonna make some wonderful potato pancakes, also known as latkes. And in the comments below, you can make fun of how I pronounce everything wrong. That's still your area, just hang out down there. Uh, and I thought it would be fun to make them completely from scratch, obviously, but also for those of you who would prefer maybe not applesauce, we're gonna make uh, our own sour cream. So there will be an option at the end to have applesauce, like Jenna, and I think a lot of you probably like, or homemade cashew sour cream, which we're gonna make as well. It's a pretty simple recipe as far as ingredients go. You're not gonna need a lot. Potatoes, onion, cashews, lemon, applesauce, chives, dill, cheese, uh, flour, uh, oil, I think. Oh, and aqua faba, which is the liquid in the can of garbanzo beans. Because we are going to plant-based ify this recipe, uh, we're not gonna use eggs, so we're gonna use the liquid in the garbanzo bean can as sort of a binding liquidy texture that will help the latkes kind of stick and hold together as one potato pancake and not just like a mess of hash brown. I would invite you all now to assume the position and get ready to do it to them. So we have our bowl of bowl o potatoes right here. When the potatoes hit, that can sit off to the side because we are gonna start with our sour cream because what we wanna do is we wanna make the sour cream and let it refrigerate while we make the latkes. So let's get our Vitamix or blender, whatever you have, and our cashews. So the way this is gonna work is it's a cashew-based cream. If you have a high-powered blender, you do not need to soak these, so I'm not gonna soak them. But if you have a regular blender, then you need to soak them, or it's advised to have them soaking for at least a few hours so they get a little soft and they blend easier. We are going to take a heaping half of a cup of cashews, actually maybe a little bit more. This is gonna be very eyeballed. We're not gonna really measure a ton for the cashew sour cream because you're gonna kinda just listen to the texture, how it's coming out. It's not gonna really say much, but just try to listen to it, be respectful. And you're also going to need some lemon for the juice. So we're gonna take about half to three fourths of a cup of cashews, add a little bit of water, just a little, little splash of water. We're gonna kind of use just like a spatula to kind of scrape down the little cashew pieces so that they can all stay at the bottom and continue to blend. And while we do this, we're gonna add about a half of a lemon worth of juice. This is gonna give it like its sour tang to the sour cream. That should be good to start. And then we'll uh, just keep blending. Keep blending. This is actually proving to be a little bit of a process but I guess that's what happens when you DIY your own non-dairy dairy. <laughs> but let's face it, this is better than milking a cow, right? We have our beautiful little homemade sour cream. It actually, you're gonna take a really sharp knife, 
It tastes really good. I'm actually gonna add just a pinch more salt, stir it around with a knife, and we're gonna let this refrigerate so it's nice and cold when we're gonna eat. Now it is time to actually get these potatoes ready to become Jewish. <laughs> well, latkes, potato pancakes. Uh, and the first thing you're gonna do, aside from bringing your garbage bin right next to you, is you are going to peel the skins off of the potatoes. And then we can get to shredding the potatoes. But first, we need to peel them. Peel, then shred. I don't know, I don't make the rules, but th those are the order of operations. Shredding these potatoes, what we're gonna do right after these is wash them because A W T, ought, you ought not skip this step. Always wash the taters, okay? Anytime you're making something with potatoes, whether it's french fries or mashed potatoes or potato skins or latkes, you always want to wash them thoroughly so that you get all the starch out of it before you cook it. And in this case, we're gonna shred it, then wash it and then dry it until it's as dry as we can possibly make it. Okay, well, we are left with these little stumps of fear of cutting ourselves potatoes. And here we have our shredded potatoes. And then I'm gonna move this cutting board into the sink because it's disgusting. And this is what we are left with, is this bowl of shredded potatoes and we are gonna go wash it two to three times. Just really try to get all the starchy liquid out of here because the more we do that, the better and crispier we can get these in their final form. So BRB, I'm just gonna go wash these real quick. Okay, so I'm using this strainer and I'm just, these are all washed now and I'm just like squeezing the potatoes to get every little bit of moisture out. They're starting to feel much more dry. See how much drier that looks? You can even see on camera like the lack of moisture. Time to make these into latkes. So you have your potatoes. Now you're gonna take this insanely big can of garbanzo beans. Just so, honestly, I appreciate the size of this can. We are now quickly going to take half of this white onion. We wanna chop, I would say actually dice this very fine. So we're gonna cut it across the top. We're gonna cut through the middle of it. And then we're gonna get a magical, easy dice. That's it, not a ton, just a little bit of onion. Um, so you're gonna put half of a small onion into our mixture, which is now technically a mixture because there's more than one thing. Welcome to science class. We are gonna open our huge can of garbanzo bean. We're gonna take two tablespoons of this slimy liquid one, two. You're gonna take some uh, pepper and you're gonna grind it in here because cracked pepper and salt kind of just go in everything, except for ice cream. That would be weird and gross. Don't do that. We're gonna do two whole teaspoons of sea salt. And then we're going to add flour. I think it's about three or four tablespoons, but I'm just gonna do that. And I'm just going to start mixing it around. And you want like a nice kind of, not super dense, but like not loose consistency to where you can shape these into little potato pancakes. I would say be generous with the flour that you're using because it's kind of an important part here to keep these in one piece. I also have some delicious cheese that we can use. I'm not gonna put it in the whole batch because I want that to be in its own special batch. I don't want all of them to have cheese in it just so you can kind of have a traditional looking one in the mix. Okay, this mixture is getting to a point where it looks pretty good. It doesn't look watery at all. It doesn't look loose, but it's it's just like the right density. It smells good. If I'll say so myself, it tastes pretty good. We're gonna turn on our cooktop and get our trusty cast iron pan ready. We're gonna set our spatula to the side and get a spoon. We're gonna coat the pan with just a bit of vegetable oil, maybe like a quarter cup, because we're not deep frying it, but we are frying it. 
So the recipe says you're supposed to use a serving spoon to kind of scoop the mixture, plop it in the pan, and then flatten it with the back of the spoon. I kind of just want to get my hands dirty and shape them. So do whatever you want, because that's what I'm going to do. And now we just let this thing cook. Uh, you're gonna really want to let it crisp on the edges a good amount. And you want it to be flat enough to where it can cook all the way through. But I'm going big. I want this to be a big old latka. Cause I like big food and I don't like small food. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. So I flipped it once and it's looking good. It still definitely is underdone in the middle. So I, I just, I want this really to have a chance to firm up. I think it's better to overcook this than undercook it. Cause then you're left with like a crispy savory pancake and less of like a doughy chewy sort of thing that might fall apart. So I'm probably going to flip it once more. Once I feel like the bottom has really browned a little bit, you can tell the shape is really holding. I think I'm going to try to make the next one like a little skinnier because I think that just would make it so much crispier and easier and almost like a Jewish potato chip. We're going to plop this down and we're going to flatten it all the way out. This one's going to be a skinny legend. It's like a fine line between letting it, letting it get like perfectly crispy and burning the shit out of it. And that line is where I walk. That's like, that's my neighborhood. I just walk it every single day. Look at what we've created with our hands and our mind and our attitude. Oh my God, it looks so good. I have to say, this is one of the best looking meals we've ever made. It just looks so cheesy and rich and crispy and like perfectly browned. I don't know, man, I think it's time we try this. I mean, look at what we made, this is crazy. Yeah, I really don't even know what to say. We have our applesauce and our homemade sour cream. And I don't know, I honestly think we just gotta dig into this. And if there's, you know, latka purists out there, who feel like I shouldn't have put cheese in here. Maybe you're right, but I just have a hard time feeling like I would regret it. Well, here goes nothing. Cheers, happy uh, Hanukkah almost, sort of. Oh my God, that is so good. Dude, that is delicious and like fresh and exactly what I was looking for. But not only that, right away as I took a bite of it, I was a child again. Like this, this reminds me of growing up and having latkes for the holidays and it tastes exactly the same, but somehow better, I don't know. Oh my God. It's like just the perfect texture inside. I think like, I don't know, qu quarter to a half inch thick is like the perfect thickness for these cause it lets the edges get super crispy, but it doesn't make the inside overdone. I mean, it's just like, ugh. Dude, we nailed this. It's a simple recipe, I'll give you that, but we nailed it. I gotta get Jenna. Brace yourself. For what? For yes. the spirit of Hanukkah. I love the spirit of Hanukkah. Are these all for me? Thanks so much. Well. Oh, you put cheese in here? Maybe. I like applesauce. I know, that's why I got it. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's good, right? Wait, those are really good. <gasps> Wait, I don't think I've ever had a latke with cheese in it. I was looking up recipes and like a couple of them were like, yeah, put some cheese in it. And some of them were like, put mustards in it. And I was like, I prefer cheese to mustard. So mm. I'm gonna put cheese in it. Mm. Oh. Isn't it good? Wait, now that I've had a latke with cheese in it. How do you go back? You know, it's like the first time that I tried spicy hummus, I was like, how am I ever gonna go back to hummus that's not spicy? Well, the one on the bottom has no cheese in it and I think it tastes really good. I think you're probably lying. Mm. Can I have one? Wait, I thought these were for me. No, I wanna share. You didn't eat it yet? No, I mean, I had a bite. 
Oh, I this is homemade sour cream. Me. So you've just been watching me eat this after you cooked it? That's kind of what I do every week. Mm. Oh, mm. Yeah, that's good. You know, I still like applesauce. Bunny, she really wants you to feed her. This is yeah. so good. Oh my God. Oh, this is really good, Julie. Did I do good? Yeah, this is really, 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 really good. I like how thick and big they are. Right? Uh-huh. I think someone mentioned to me on stream, they were like, if you're gonna make latkes, don't be making no small ones. And I said, do I look like the type of guy who makes small food? Did you use a recipe? Yeah, boy. Did you ask your mom? No, I should have though. I wanna bring her on Aries Kitchen. Would that be chaotic enough for you? I mean, that's gonna stress me out because that's two Aries in one kitchen. <laughs> Usually what happens when you start cooking with your mom is you guys start with the intention of cooking one thing and end up with something totally different. Or five things. Or five things, yeah. This is just one of those recipes where I'm sorry, but I gotta gas myself up. This came out really good. Can we make these for Hanukkah? Uh-huh. So we eat these for eight days in a row? Yeah, no calories, all eight days. Oh, so we're fasting for eight days. Yeah, this is what fasting is. Oh, cool. <clears throat> well, happy Hanukkah, everybody. It's not Hanukkah yet, though. Happy Hanukkah. Can you tell that I made this with chickpeas? No. I used aquafaba, which is the liquid in chickpea cans, as the egg binder. <gasps> Wait, so that's why these taste different than the kind that you made in the past. Yeah. We usually just use potato. Yeah. And it doesn't stick together. No, these are nice and chewy. Mmm. Isn't that cool? Oh, I've heard that. But I've never tried it. This works out nicely because you like the sour cream and I like the applesauce. Yeah, we're just going to our respective dips. Mm-hmm. You look really pretty when you eat this. Thank you. I'm trying to learn how to take a compliment. Just had an idea, okay? You take this and you put gelt in the middle and then it's a Hanukkah taco. <laughs> Hanukkah taco. Say welcome back. Welcome back. Why? Thank you. I didn't go anywhere. No, no, you're welcoming me back to Aries Kitchen. Oh. What would Virgo Kitchen look like? Would it look like this? No. Boneless potatoes? These are boneless. When your latkes are boneless? Okay, well, we're just eating on camera at this point, so. Yeah, it's a mukbang. I love you guys, thanks for watching. Stay Jewish. Hell yeah. <laughs> this will be, share this amongst all of you. Well, minus this bite. Okay, that, this is how much bite. you guys get. Share it amongst yourselves. Don't fight.